check it out guys, it's Trevor James hanging out with Narendra and India. They just won the 1 million subscribers giveaway. We flew them in from the UK last night and today we're going for a full on Sichuan street food yes, tour. We are. You guys and pumped? So we're gonna be going, going deep. deep. <laughs> yeah. This video is gonna make you hungry because we're taking Narendra and India, the winners of our 1 million subscribers giveaway for the ultimate Chengdu street food tour with 11 insanely delicious street foods. So make sure to watch this whole video all the way until the end because you're not gonna believe all of the incredibly beautiful food that we found like roast ducks, delicious fried and baked Sichuan biscuits, insanely huge and spicy lunches, shot glasses full of brain, and lots more. And bringing them for their first ever mouth-numbing Sichuan hot pot at the end. And first up, after picking them up from the airport, we brought them right away to start the day the right way in China by going for classic Chinese breakfast baozi. So I know you guys wanted to try baozi, right? Yeah, yep. absolutely. Awesome, here we are. Ni hao. Okay, so we're gonna get some pork baozi and sit down on the street. Oh, So these are still being cooked. Okay. And then when they're done, we're gonna eat up a few of those and some breakfast xiaolong bao. They smell amazing delicious already. Yeah. 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 Oh. Uh, and we're gonna get some soybean milk as well. Okay. So first we're gonna make our vinegar and chili dip right here. Oh yeah, this is really what it's all about. That's like a jam. That is like That's a jam. Like a jam. <laughs> <laughs> chili oil in the UK is thin. So we got chili oil and then a little vinegar. Vinegar and you just dip your baozi and your xiaolong bao right into there. Let's go for some xiaolong bao. Oh yeah, fresh oh, steam. It's so oh, it's so, so soft. Oh, cheers! cheers. <laughs> oh yeah. The texture is really good, and the vinegar is quite mm. sour. It is, but it goes really well. Because the inside of the pork meat is quite it's not sweet, but it has a, a sweetness to it. Mm. That's really, really good. Oh, so soft. Look at these. That is not a one biter. You got. <laughs> I was like using the hands. Mmm. 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 Does a different taste. I like this one how it has more of a juicy punch mm. to it. Oh yeah, absolutely. More of a juicy punch. This this was worth it straight away. <laughs> absolutely. Oh my goodness. Next up, before going for the most insane Sichuan lunch and taking a shot of the brain, we visited my favorite local street food market in Chengdu, the super deep Supo Farmers Market, and found a ton of amazing street snacks. We are here. One of the busiest markets in Chengdu, right here, Supo Farmer's Market. And we're gonna go in and try some stuff. Oh yeah, tons of action. So another thing you have to try, of course, is roast duck, right out of the market. Right here. Ni hao. Oh, this is cow yatsi, right? Yes, it's a cow Oh, very good. I oh. Oh, yeah, there it is. Wow. Oh, yeah. This is what it's all about, guys. Uh, uh, and it's super crispy, fresh, hot. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is the best part. Whoa. Seeing the chopping on screen and seeing in real life <laughs> different things. Totally yeah. Different. yeah. Oh yeah. Whoa. She's gonna let us take a look. Oh. Oh. It's full of ducks. Oh my goodness. Oh. 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 Wow, isn't that beautiful? Yeah, you can have the aroma and smell is just coming from oh. there alone. 
我们腌制弄好了，然后来进入烤箱。哦、oh, ，这个味道挺香的，挺香的。老少皆宜，都好吃。Yeah, it's very 香，很香。<笑>谢谢你，太漂亮。好 ，Let's go try it out. Wow, oh, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful crispy skin duck, mm. baked, roasted, roast right now. Grab a piece, get a nice succulent one. Oh wow! Yeah, get a piece. Oh god, you need that one gone. Cheers. Cheers. Awesome. Mmm. <laughs> oh, it's so succulent. Tender. Really tasty. Really tasty. Really tasty. Oh, it's so soft, right? Oh my god, it's so good. Mm. Succulent. And really the skin is nice good. and crispy. Mm. Yeah. Thai haola. Thai haola. Mmm. Next up, just beside the ducks, we found the ultimate healthy Sichuan style wraps. So these are wheat flour pancakes. Mian mian fen zuo de bing, right? We can eat here. Then, we can make this ban, right? We can make a turn, right? Oh, Thai haola. So what happens? Basically, they're making these fresh wheat flour pancakes. We choose any of these fresh veg, and then they cover it in a chili oil and make a wrap. Okay. So yeah. it's like a healthy Sichuan style wrap. Snack. After choosing whatever you like from the huge selection of different fresh vegetables, like asparagus lettuce, carrots, Sichuan fish root, bamboo, and more, you give it to the chef, and they prepare it for you with chili oil. But today, they let us make it ourselves. So he's gonna let us make it. Chicken sama ban. Yeah, hai jiao ma. Oh, so hai jiao, can I? So Sichuan chili oil. Oh wow. Weijing ma. Weijing a little MSG. Yeah, touch it up. Oh, that's quite a. Oh, that's Sichuan peppercorn. Okay. Garlic. Yeah. Bai tang sugar and dried chili. Xiangyo. Oh, sesame oil. Oh, vinegar, yep, black vinegar. And soy. Was it Japan, ma? Okay, and then we mix it ourselves. Oh, say young to the ma. Chicken, chabu do hala ma. Chabu do hala. Oh, thank you. One of my favorite Sichuan snacks. Was it Japan, ma? Okay, he's gonna let us do it. Oh, nice. Oh, that's Got beautiful. There. there you go. Take one. Oh, oh it's leaking chili oil. Chili oil. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Unique. Oh, the heat's coming through. It's definitely spicy, right? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really refreshing, though. Yeah. It's like a minty cilantro yeah. with a fish sort of aroma to it, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can see crunchy Sichuan fish root. Mm -hmm. Minty, cilantro -y. Spicy with the chili oil. Mm -hmm. mm, the carrots. It's so fresh, right? Mm. Very okay. healthy. Very unique flavor. Right? Very oh, unique flavor. I can yeah. see. Yeah. yeah. And you got to come to the markets to get it just like that. Yeah, oh. absolutely. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Bye-bye. This is a Chinese food. It's good. Thank you. So this here is rock sugar, and look rock at all the sugar. different types of rock sugar they have. Oh, it's like mishri. Oh my goodness, yeah, but it's huge. And too. molasses. Oh. This is bing, bing tang, right? Yeah, yeah, rock sugar. Pretty cool, right? In India, it's called uh, mishri. Normally mishri. you get yeah, it mishri. when you go to the temple, yeah, it's like oh, less yeah. food, but they're very, yeah. very small. Yeah, these are Not big pieces. Not nearly this scale. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're like more like those, those sizes. These, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But some of these are giant. giant. Oh Pretty God. cool, hey? Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at all the chickens here. Chicken, duck, rabbit, tofu, it's all here. And right up ahead, we're gonna go see the soul of Sichuan, dried chilies and Sichuan peppercorns. Okay. There's everything you can imagine here. You can get your teeth pulled out right in the market. Wow. Oh, right up here is the chilies. Look at all of these Sichuan chilies. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Oh, this is our buddy here. We, we see him every time. <laughs> yeah. You're regulars. Yeah. Yeah. Ni hao. Hao zhe bu jian. Fei chang. Fei chang xiang nian. Hao zhe bu jian. This is our buddy here. 
He is the Sichuan peppercorn king. king. <laughs> He's got it all here. We got green Sichuan peppercorns, red Sichuan peppercorns, dried chili. It's all here. Yeah. And I think we're gonna get the most numbing. Oh, lovely. Go, go to the extreme. Might as well. We can eat Zui Mada Hua Jia Ma. Zui Mada. Mada Tiao. Mada Tiao. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This one is ours here. Thank you. And he's, he's blending it up. Yeah. Mada Tiao. Oh, okay. Thank you. So this is the most numbing, Ma de Tiao. We don't do anything but hugs. <laughs> Let's go right in. We got the beautiful Sichuan peppercorn and this really is the soul of Sichuan. So many dishes here. It gives it a numbing, florally aroma to so many dishes. You can have it in so many different ways. styles of cooking mm -hmm. and ways. Yep, and just, just grab a couple. And you don't, you don't want to swallow it. Just bite it with your teeth and then let it sit on your tongue. Okay, babe. All right. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Mm. Oh, yeah. Just wait for it. <laughs> oh. I'll be honest, at the beginning it was a bit fruity. And I just went away within three seconds. And it was And right now it's starting to build, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's still building. It's gonna make your, your tongue water. Yeah, I and your lips <laughs> and your lips numb. Woo. And it's a florally kick. Oh yeah. And it's gonna peak. <laughs> It's still going up. It's still going. I haven't hit that yet. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Way to wake up. Yeah. No jet lag for us. It really hits your tongue, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. It's like... I didn't know I could salivate this much. And you're really watering it, right? Is that sizzling? Yeah. But not like a painful sizzle, but it's like a... Now I really yeah. know what the numbing really means. It's numb, but it's also not numb. <laughs> it's like there's a battery on your tongue. Yes. That's it. It's Is what I would imagine it would be like. Yeah. You had a battery in tongue? Surprisingly. Oh. It's like there's a current going through yeah. your lips, mm -hmm. your yeah. gums, and your tongue. Uh, I'm receding I think, a little bit. I think I'm hit, I have hit my peak. Mm. And you can see this is just true chili heaven. Look at this. Whoa. This is true chili heaven. So he's pounding the chilies, uh -huh. making a dry chili paste here. Janada. Ah, Janada, he remembers us. Yeah. Oh, and he's just making. Look at all this. Yeah, this is oil. I think so. I think they put a little oil on here. This is oil. This is oil. Oh, chow gori oil. Yeah, a little oil on there. Yeah. This is what is it? Which one? Oh, uh, so this is the final product here. Wow. Do you guys eat spicy? He's asking. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Dwe. 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 Yeah. You can say Dwe. After that insanely huge bustling market, we made our way out for the biggest lunch feast with tons of Sichuan spicy food pulled out to you on the back of a bicycle. So you wanted to go deep? This is deep. We're in a local neighborhood now, and right up here is a famous local fly restaurant. They call it a fly restaurant because sometimes the conditions around are questionable, but the food is insanely delicious. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this. Look at this here. So this is... So this is fish root, and... Oh, this is fish root. Oh. oh, okay, yeah, yeah, exactly. And this is using lajiao yao zhou, right? Ah, very good. And the back is so good. That's our buddy back there. Let's go see what we've got. There's lots of food in the back. This is a famous local fly restaurant in Changdu. Ni hao. Ni hao. Look at this. Hen duo mei shi da. Oh, this is dou ban yu ma. Oh, look at that. That is broad bean fish. Oh, there's just so much stuff here, guys. Yeah. All cooked in Sichuan flavor. It's all here. This is Jita Ma. This is your Sun Tzu. Oh, so the chicken chicken organs. Zuda. Oh, Zuda. Zuda, Huang Hai, and Ya Zi, the King Guy. Oh, the pig and the duck organs. And just look at all this here. 
a lot of food here and you can just take whatever you like. Look at this guys. The food comes from a bike straight from the kitchen. Oh, this is what we came for. Look at this. This is pig brain tofu. This is all pig brain. Look at this. Isn't that crazy? It's crazy. So take a look here guys. This is Liang Fen, which is mung bean starch jelly. And she's just covering it in chili oil and onion. Oh, she has Look at that. This is yat right? Yat, right? Tea smoked duck. Can you take one? Awesome. And then this is lao rou. Luro and then stewed pork and it's all here. Tons of different home cooked stir fried dishes. And what's so beautiful is you can just roll up and see what comes from the bike and feast. Oh, and And then they've also got steam dishes as well. Hello, hi. Oh, look at this. Okay, so we've got the xian xiao bai, which is pickled mustard greens and fatty pork, and we're gonna get that as well. Oh yeah, so the kitchen is right here, and they just load the dishes right in. Oh yeah, look at this. So they just load the dishes right into the bike. So the, and this here is swan tayu pickled veg with fish and rice noodles. Isn't that just a beautiful scene? And then he walks it back, and they just get picked out. And then this here is our xian xiao bai, which is pickled mustard greens and fatty pork. And we're gonna get that. Tai hao la. Xie xian ni. Oh. Oh yeah, look at that fatty pork. Tai piao liang. So we've got a beautiful Sichuan lunch feast. Classic dish right here. This is tofu nao hua, which is tofu with pig brain. And you can see the brain in there. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. It's crazy. Tofu with pig brain. You can see the brain there. And then over here, we've got huang liang fen, which is starch jelly, mung bean starch jelly covered in like a broad bean paste. So a salted, broad bean paste with chili and chili oil. And then we've also got a tea smoked duck. The xian xiao bai, which is what you guys said you wanted to try. You told me you wanted to try that, right? So fatty pork with preserved pickled mustard greens. Look at all the greens in there. There's a bit of pickled chili in there as well. And then we've also got fish root with broad beans and uh, chili oil. And Narendra, when you made your entry to come on this tour, you said you wanted to take a shot of the brain. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be trying anything I can. Anything <laughs> Your video. I'm even the brain, I'm gonna take a shot here. I'll take a shot. I think I made some, some mistakes <laughs> in my life. Let's just. Uh... Oh, look at that. Let's all oh, get a bit of chili oil in there. Oh, there you go. You that's want, good, Trevor. Is that, a, is that enough? I think that's a, that's a single, we don't need a double shot. Yeah. That's a single, single shot? Single's fine, yeah, single's fine. I'll go with a single. There you go. And I'll, I'll do it with you. I'll do it with you. <laughs> We're going in as a team. Oh, goodness. I'll cheer from the sidelines. You, you want to try? I'll cheer from the sidelines. <laughs> you want to try? No. I'll get a double shot. Oh, you're brave. Actually, that's, that's a single. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. So you want to let it just melt in your mouth. You don't want to swallow it right away. All right. All right, cheers. Okay. Mmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> Got any words for you? Any comments? Or is it pretty nasty? <laughs> okay. It was not as bad as I thought. It was still disgusting, oh. <laughs> I'll be fair, okay? The texture is not for me. But the taste was not stinky or yeah. odory. It's just... So I think it's pretty well cooked brain. But I don't think brain is for me in general. I think the texture is what's hard to pass, right? It's like extreme tofu. It's like extreme buttery, slippery... Slimy. Slimy tofu. But it's also got that fermented broad bean. Yeah. So it's salty and fragrant and chilly. I, I rather enjoy it, but I think 
I, I kind of had a similar feeling the first time I tried it. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> What's I'm going on here? Brain After taking a couple bites of delicious mung bean jelly noodles with that salty fermented broad bean paste, the bike came by and brought the king dish of Sichuan, twice cooked pork. Oh, and twice cooked pork. Oh. Can we play, play like a, a fuego roma? We're gonna take a fuego roll. Oh, nice. Look at this. And the, when you see fuego roll twice cooked pork, you have to eat it. <laughs> Look at that. And that's what's so fun about this little hole in the wall here, is that the food just comes on the bike and you grab whatever looks good. So twice cooked pork, and then so these are actually garlic bolts, the green. Mmm. Oh. Wow. Mm. It's like a smoky, salty mm. flavor. Yeah. It's like Sichuan bacon. It's perfect yes, bacon. Perfect. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Mm. Perfect, soft and juicy Sichuan Ooh, bacon, yeah. right? All of the bacon's gonna be subpar now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. After tasting all of the dishes, like the fatty pork with mustard greens and the amazing and juicy tea smoked duck, a local Ding Ding candy man came by with perfect timing for us to enjoy a local Sichuan sweet. Oh, so it's sticky rice actually. Sticky rice. It's gonna be hard and chewy. Try it out. It's like a brittle sticky rice street snack. And careful, put on your back teeth. It's gonna be really chewy. Yeah. Oh, back teeth. Mm. Oh! It's a little citrusy, right? Yeah. but yeah. It's like taffy. Mm, yeah. So this is classic ding ding tang here. Mm. You like? Mm. It's like taffy, yeah. Like it's quite fresh. It's got a sesame taste as well. Yeah. This has jirma. Yeah, it has chenpi. Oh yeah, and orange skin. Oh, that's why it's interesting. Yeah. So chenpi, orange skin, jirma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many people buy this? 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 Oh. It's really nice, hey? It's got a nice key to it. You don't have to do it for 10 minutes. I'm going to do it for 10 minutes. I'm going to do it for 10 minutes. They say, are they Indian? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Indian or Indian? Yeah. Indian and Indian. Like Indian English. Indian English, day to day. Indian and Indian. Day to day. Hey, give me a little drink, got it. Where are you from? Indian. I think they're talking, where are they from? In India or England? And people are so friendly. How? How? Bye bye. We still have six amazing street foods to eat because this is the ultimate Chinese street food tour. So make sure to watch all the way until the end because this is non stop spicy goodness. All right, so you guys said you wanted to try some organ soup, right? Yeah. And right up here, this is Fei Chong Fen, intestine noodles. Oh, and look at this. He's making the sweet potato starch noodles. Oh, so they put the dough in. Wow. Come take a look, come take a look. So he's putting sweet potato starch dough in there. So these are sweet potato starch noodles. Oh yeah, and they're boiling it, and then they come out down here. Isn't that beautiful? How is it even going through the sieve? It's yeah. like a liquid and a solid at the same time. Yeah, it's uh, that's the consistency of it. Yeah. And you can see over here, that's the that's the dough right there. It's a really wet dough. It's a wet, it's a wet dough. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it is. So these are the noodles, and then this is the fei chong, the intestines. 
and they're actually tied into little knots, see? Yeah, yeah. So this is like a big intestine broth. And then they've got the pre-made bowls of chili oil, lard, and onions. And then they pour the broth and the intestines and the noodles all in. Thai bangla. Thai bangla. It smells a bit like sausages. Yeah, it does. Yeah. A little bit, yeah. You can see, oh, look at them all coming down there. Wow. So you can see they're taking the noodles, these sweet intestine noodles. And they're boiling these in the broth and then they take these these bowls here and they put them right in. Oh. Beautiful. And then they're gonna add intestine as well. And the broth has a rich intestine aroma. Yeah. It smells crazy. Hey, oh, Pando oh, Fei Chang. Wow. Whoa. Isn't that crazy? crazy. Yes, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. That's massive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It has a rich intestine aroma, right? Yeah, it does. And he's gonna make the next bowl. Yeah. It's crazy. Beautiful. Take a look at this guy. I ordered extra big and small intestine chopped up. And you can see on the outside there, there's just all of the dried chili that they put into the broth. Oh, it's an intestine, pure intestine broth. You wanna do mix it up a little bit? A little vinegar? Yes, please. There you go. Mm. It's not as bad as I thought. Mm. Yeah. I think I'm a changed man on the intestines. Oh, oh. really yeah. good. Oh, oh. It's a giant piece of intestine. Yeah. I wish I could jump out of that. Yeah? Hey, my heart. They're good and fatty. Really it's actually good. tasty, yeah. It's really tasty. And the noodles have a really in, a unique so consistency, yeah, right? Yeah. I've noodles like this. Mm. It's almost like it's a rice noodle, but, but it's not as bitey as a rice noodle. Yeah, it's yeah. smoother. It's a lot smoother, a yeah. little bit more of a uh, slime. Mm. Yeah. 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 Bye-bye. 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 Next up, before enjoying the most aromatic bowl of Sichuan Dan Dan noodles, we went for the ultimate midday snack in Chengdu. The crispy, fried, and spicy, and mouth-numbing beef guo kui. Alright guys, so I know you also really wanted to try the guo kui, right? Yeah. The beef biscuit, and look at this, right here. Oh, ni hao. Oh, ni hao. Oh. oh. <laughs> so they have beef, uh, pork filling. Oh, doyo. So they have pork filling biscuit and beef. Right here, they're stuffing these dough strips with beef, and there's Sichuan peppercorn in this beef. Oh, yeah. So then you see he's gonna roll it up. Oh. It's like an orange color to the. Uh, it's mainly beef. Jigasha Nuro, hi Oshima. Nuro, Juro, Yichima. Oh, Nuro, He, Juro. Oh, so it's actually beef and pork mix. Nuro, Juro, hi Yo, Idian, Ju, Yoma. And some lard. Hi Yo, Hua, Jiao, Jema. And some peppercorn. Oh, hi Yo, Nida. Hi Yo, Nima, Nida, Du, Jami, Fang. And a little bit of their secret. They won't tell us. Yeah. And then this is the station where they fry them in oil. And afterwards, underneath here is an oven. And they put them under and then they crisp them up. They sell more than a thousand of these every day. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, look at the color. Beautiful. Gaining color nicely. Oh, it's gonna become nice and really golden. Wow, that's mesmerizing, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Do you get lema? Eh, very Lema. Yeah. He says it's tiring. We are living here, just feel no color. Oh, no color. 
So it's it's if we're, but if you enjoy your life like this, it's okay. Yeah. Xiang Shou Xiang Huo, right? Yeah. It seems like lots of people in Chengdu have this outlook. Yeah. This is Chinese Kung Fu. Chinese Kung Fu. He says it's Chinese Kung Fu. <laughs> oh, here we go. Right into the oven. Oh, wow. And that's gonna crisp it up. Because right now they're a little bit oily, but now this is just gonna give it an outer crisp. So the outside is gonna be crispy and the inside is going to be soft and fluffy. Oh, here they come. Oh, wow. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> the best go kui, that's what he says. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. They're intensely hot. And actually, you're going to want to be really careful with these because they are intensely hot. So, oh, you can actually just break a little bit. Oh, loosen it up. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Oh wow. Die how true that. Wow. It has a real Szechuan pepper going. It does. Yeah. Taste to it, yeah. The florally it numbing. Florally numbing. Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Mm. It's actually a little fatty mm -hmm. and fluffy on the inside, but the outside is so nice and crispy. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a pure beef oh. biscuit of joy. I guess this is your favorite thing. <laughs> As of yet, my favorite thing. This mm. one takes the cake. Really? The outside's crispy and crunchy and has this nuttiness from the sesame, and the inside's soft and meaty and delicious and oh, so good. It's juicy. Oh. It mm. would fit your any, every mood you have. Yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you, Jen. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next up, we went to try Sichuan's number one noodle dish, the Dan Dan noodles, along with a hot bowl of Sichuan dumplings. Right on the street side, this is what it's all about. So I know you guys wanted to try Dan Dan noodles, Zhajiang noodles. Right up ahead, there's a little noodle stall. We're gonna make a bowl of Zhajiang noodles and hot chili oil dumplings. Let's go try it out. Ni hao. Hao jiu bu jian. <laughs> so we've got ground pork sauce, this is spare rib, and then neuro, and then beef. Oh, and fei chang, you can get intestine as well. Oh, and shao rou, zhu rou. Oh, and, uh, mushroom pork. Oh, okay. Oh, and, and chicken, chicken organ as well. And then, oh, shuan cai rou shi, which is uh, pickled veg and sliced pork. But we're going to get the classic right here, which is ground pork over top of zhajiang noodles. Can you buy san wan zhajiang mian ma? So these are our bowls here. That's a little bit of oil. Sichuan peppercorn, ground up, ground up. Little MSG for the for the flavor. And oh, jerma jiang. That is sesame paste. The real magic right there. Yeah. Chili oil. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say my mouth salivating again, but yeah. it might just be the, the Szechuan peppercorn. Yeah. This is chili oil. This is Oh, okay. This is soy sauce. Oh, how? Just soy sauce, no vinegar. Okay. Yeah, it's like pickled mustard greens. Okay. Just adding a little cabbage on there. This is the Zhajiang ground pork, the Shaozi, and adding a little bit of green onion. He's just plating our jiaozi. Oh, there they are. So we got three bowls of zhong shui jiao and three bowls of zhajiang mian. And she kind of mixed ours up already, but Narendra, she didn't mix yours. So let's all just mix ours up together and take a look what's on the bottom. And you got to mix them up quick and get that chili oil 
Oh yeah, look at the chili oil on the bottom. It just coats the noodles perfectly. Wow. Try and lift it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. That's the way. So good. It smells amazing. And then the same deal for the these zhong shui jiao. Oh, look at those. And the specialty here is that they put a little sugar in, so it's going to be slightly, slightly sweet. This is your first bite of zhajiang noodle, right? Yeah, first, oh. first bite. First ever. Let's do it. Mm. It's like a creaminess too. Yeah. 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 Creamy. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what it is. Oh, and I just love how the the silkiness of the noodles. Mm. And it's so creamy, right? Yeah. You really got to make sure it's mixed up so you get that flavor yeah. evenly throughout. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Get get one totally covered like that. Ooh. Cheers. Cheers. Awesome. All right. Mm. Mm. I taste a little garlic in there. Yeah, yeah. garlicky. And it's I sweet. get the sweetness. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Sweet. From the sugar. And the pork as well. And plump. Yeah. And plump. Right and on the, the street. Chili sauce is really good as well. Yeah. Shout out to Jen. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Next up, we went to another local market to find more street foods before our huge hot pot dinner feast and found an amazing Sichuan pickles stall with tons of different pickled vegetables like carrots, radish, and ginger. But the best part was getting to meet the super friendly vendor. Oh! <laughs> Mmm, yeah. did you try yours? Oh! Mmm! 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 Yeah! Yingua! Mmm! 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 Wow, that's fantastic. Oh, this is... And she's just right. feeding us more and more. Wow. Can you eat it? You want to eat it? Can you eat Oh. You can eat it. You can eat it. You a little smoky, right? Mm -hmm. mm. Huge pickled, pickled cabbage. You said it's not too salty. No, no, no. It's so much. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much food. <laughs> I've become literally full in the last like five minutes. Not even that much food. Hi, how's it For our final meal. We went to go enjoy an extremely spicy Sichuan hot pot at the best hot pot restaurant in Chengdu. So no trip to Chengdu would be complete without having Sichuan hot pot, Sichuan huo guo, and this is one of my favorite joints here, Bashu Da Jai Men huo guo. So we're gonna line up. There's a lineup here, and try it out. Ni hao, si wei. Isn't that beautiful? Oh yeah. It's in the lungs. Oh, already, yeah. <laughs> yeah. After choosing off your choice of meats and vegetables, you make a sesame oil dip with vinegar, garlic, cilantro, and oyster sauce. And then you boil the meats. So you take any of your ingredients, and this is the sunny, sunny pork here. Oh yeah, and you just get it covered in that egg yolk. And put it right in. Look at that. Oh, deep in the broth. Entirely disappeared. Oh. It's gone. It's gone. There we go. And get it in there. It's in another world. And after the meats boil just a couple minutes, you get that first hit of beef oil and that chili and that peppercorn all over the soft meat and its true painful joy. So you take your beef. You can see actually the peppercorns, some of the peppercorns are still on there, right? Yeah. Cool. So that'll Ooh, give you a kick. That'll give you a kick. <laughs> and then you dip it into your oil okay. and get a bit of garlic and cilantro in there. Let's try it out. Mmm. Oh. oh yeah. Oh, that's so oh, that's good. good. Really good. Oh. Oh, it's spicy. It's it spicy. spicy oh, it's so Mm. It was a back of the throat spice. My tongue isn't mm. numbing. No, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. 
this time. This time you have to get them. It's so nice, and when you dip it in the vinegar, it gives it a little sour kick. Yeah. yeah. Mm. You exactly. got that cilantro. And the cilantro adds like its freshness. Oh yeah. Ooh. That is the way of life here. Oh. That was a Thai holiday. Yeah. So much fun. Hope you guys had a great time. Wonderful, awesome. wonderful. We tried lots of different types of food and it's been uh, worth the trip, yeah, for sure. Glad to hear. And we would love to know what you guys thought about this video in the comments below as well. Please click that subscribe button and little bell notification button as well. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you guys can come back to eat more. 100%. Absolutely. Awesome. Thai howler. Thai howler. <laughs>